Hello everyone, I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Today I wanted to go ahead and open up my first Zen Market package. So for those of you who don't know, I had a bad buy experience and decided I would never use them again. If you want to know why or exactly what happened, you can go ahead and check that video out. Basically, I wanted to go ahead and try a different proxy service, so I decided to go with the Zen Market. Not sponsored or anything, it's just this is my first experience and I figured I would experience it all with you. So Zen Market is a proxy service which means that you can buy things exclusive to Japan and have them shipped to you. Basically, you can buy something through them, it goes to their warehouse, then they ship it over to you. So, yeah. Anyways, I have three things in here. Two are from Yahoo Japan. And the other one's actually from Mandaraka. The two Yahoo Japan ones, one is a figure that didn't come with the box and one is a figure in a box. I'm going to try not to compare them too much to Bai because like, I'm not trying to shade Bai or anything. I really don't care if you shop at Bai or not. It's just a personal opinion. I'm not going to be giving so anymore. But they are the only other proxy service I've ever used. So so expect some comments here or there about how they're different than Bai. One of those is going to be the packaging. This lovely little extra support I very much appreciate and I think it's neat. I've not actually seen that done I think on any package that I've ever received so I thought that was pretty cool. I actually do have a grail in here that I mentioned in my unpopular opinions video feel free to go ahead and check that out if you're interested so she will be in a separate unboxing video not this one but i am so excited to see her all right so let's go ahead and get this open Ooh. obviously because of the extra little bits i expect this type unpackaging to take a little bit longer than usual so bear with me just a moment so one of the big differences between like something like zen market and then something like buy is with buy, you're just buying things flat out, whatever. With Zen Market, you actually are preloading your account, which I think is kind of interesting. So you basically have a Zen Market account. You have to load it with funds. You can load it with funds from a credit card. It doesn't matter. It's not like you have to use your real money. Um, but what you can have to do is you have to load it before you bid and. Yeah, you have to bid enough to get the item and cover their service fee, so. I thought that was kind of interesting because with Bai, that's not how it works. It just goes charged immediately through your credit card. Like Bai, obviously you're still paying Bai, but you're paying Bai, they're buying from the seller, if that makes sense. So that's a little different. Um, if you're not used to that, that might freak out. You can take your money back off of the account though, so it's not like it's stuck there in oblivion forever. You can always have it charged back to your credit card afterwards or whatever. I don't think charged back is the right word, but you know what I mean. It's a little note from them. And let's see, I believe I paid the extra little bit to have it protected a little more. I wanted to see what their protection is. Right off the bat, I could tell you that their protection is cheaper than Bayes, but Bayes protection with the mobile app and stuff, they tend to give you more. Let's go ahead and open this up though and see like they just have um higher quality bubble wrap i'm not sure that even matters but they do so we got oh we have four packages here <laughs> well that's what happens when things are in the ocean forever <laughs> that's always a good sign and we'll start out with this little one which will be in another video coming up soon consolidating all of these was free so there's that. Whereas with Bai, you have to pay to consolidate, which I think is really dumb. But that's just a personal opinion. Let's go ahead and see this. Is the item from Mandarake. So this is from Girls in Panzer. This is the one girl from Chitan. I don't know her name. I don't know any of the Chitan people except for Kakura. So. <laughs> but I am collecting this entire line and I actually almost have the entire line. The only one I'm missing, cause I want to do an unboxing of them all. So I've been like hoarding them in the corner. Instead of waiting, I would rather just go ahead and do it now though, because I'm only missing one and I've never seen her go up. I'm missing Darjeeling, but here she is. They were just really cheap little um, figures of them on the tanks. So if you want to see this, Chicky and the rest of the girls in pens are captains or commanders or whatever you want to call them. Um, if you want to see me unbox them, 
I will have that in a future video. I'm pretty actually impressed with the box. This is just something because I'm not a collector who cares about boxes and this box is like in super good condition. So yeah, we're gonna put her off to the side for now. As of right now, I am very impressed with the packaging. This is gonna be the one, this is the one without a box. So this is gonna be the real, here, we're gonna move this out of the way. Probably should have done that for the first one. Hindsight's 2020, ain't it? It was in bubble wrap. Now it's just like this. We got some nice cushiony paper. And then we have this. So what I am surprised about, oh, she's freaking awesome. All right. So what I am surprised about is that they didn't just leave her in her box. This is obviously the figure that was loose. In case you do not know this character, this is Meteoria. She is from Recreators. She's not exactly difficult to find. I believe she goes up on Yahoo Auctions pretty often, but she's generally much more than what I paid for her. I actually wasn't going to be getting her. The only reason I picked her up is because if you know from my other video, one of my figures that I'm very excited to eventually pick up and still searching for would be the Altair figure from Recreators. And these are the only two Recreators figures that have been made, at least so far. So I wanted to go ahead and get Meteoria just because I plan on getting Altair. Um, but ultimately the only reason I really picked her up at this point was because of the price because I was like oh I don't think I'm ever gonna get a price like that again so yeah her book actually has real type on it she looks really cool I'm actually much more impressed with this than I thought I'd be again she was like a figure I was kind of like oh if I had to skip it big deal she's actually like one of my least favorite characters in recreators if not my least favorite character blitz might be my most least favorite character but I think she looks really good. I'm very impressed with the sculpt. She's got some dust on her. I don't care about dust because I'm not great with controlling dust either. This must be her stand. And that's why it's all, which makes sense. But oh, she almost just rocked her right off the table. I need to be more careful. All right. Same deal, same wrapping. We've got her face and her weapons. So they must open up all the boxes to inspect, which makes sense, right? Baye does the same thing. Um, but I'm surprised I didn't put her back in her box since she doesn't have like any packaging. So they packaged it themselves. I don't mind because it didn't come broken or anything as far as I know. Obviously I still have to open this the rest of the way. Okay. And the fun part about this is always like, what goes where? Because uh, obviously I don't have a picture to go off of. I might have to look up a picture for this. Oh, that must be for this. Oh my goodness. Yep, this is going to require me probably looking it up because this is a little, this is a little lot, a lot of work. This is a lot of work. All right, I'm looking her up. Stand by. I simultaneously feel like more of an idiot and less of an idiot all at the same time. Apparently there's a piece missing. Now the $60 price tag makes sense. Um, I don't care because I can totally make this piece and actually it might have been in here when I took it apart but I don't know if you can hear the house shaking but I can. <laughs> oh, we needed a good rain though. After you freaking Canadians smothered us all with your smoke, we needed some rain. <laughs> I got a joke about it because it was horrible. So this is just her floating, doing her thing. Very neat, very cool. Okay, why? what piece am I missing here? So basically, she has this heat-seeking missile, yeah? And I figured out where this goes. This is not hard. This literally just plops right in here. No big deal. That's why I was so confused. I was like, how is this so difficult? How can I not figure this out? This, no one else seems to be having an issue, or at least people online didn't seem to be having an issue. So I I went ahead and I got, you know, trying to do this, tried watching a few videos. It looks like this, and then this is supposed to chill on the back, utilizing this clear piece that I have right here, but there's supposed to be another piece that goes with it. It's already together. And now I feel so 
dumb. Oh my god. I just sat here for how long? Because I. Oh god. I don't care. I'm gonna keep telling myself I don't care. Oh, it's been a long day. Okay. It's been a long day. This is what she looks like when she's gonna shoot a giant heat seeking missile at people. I quite like it. There might be a flaw in the design. <laughs> there might be more than one flaw in the design. She just flew right off her base. Oh, there we go. Now she's in there. That was my bad. Voila. Uh, how do I feel about it? I think the plastic looks a lot cheaper than I was expecting. Though I did notice this when I was fiddling around with it so much. And I'm going to go ahead and take this opportunity to do this. The person before me never took the protective coating off of this. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I noticed it because in the middle it started to come off and I was like... Uh oh, is it? What's wrong with it? And then I was like, touch it. I was like, oh no, this is like that extra little plastic they put over things to keep it shiny. I hate thunder and lightning so much. The person before me never took that off. So that's kind of nice. Have it on the other side too. Um, yes. Yes, it has it on both sides. Well, thank you, previous owner. Cool, yeah. They never took that off, so now it looks even like brandy new. And there we go. Uh, this is like really flimsy plastic and it does obviously come off really easily. What can I say about Meteorio right off the bat? Her hair seam is pretty horrible, but uh, again, I I got her to go with Altair, who I eventually hope to get. So not too worried about that. Shading is nice enough. Overall, she looks pretty accurate. I don't see any obvious paint transfer or anything. Her face looks good. It looks accurate. Overall, I think she looks really nice, and I'm a little confused though. I thought she was a 1 8th, and for whatever reason, she seems a lot bigger than that, but maybe that's just because I haven't opened figures up in a while. <laughs> she seems she seems kind of big to me. One day I will get Altair, and that will be awesome. So, she ended up in one piece. Everything's here. Everything's good. Good job, Zen Market. You didn't forget a piece. <laughs> she doesn't go for tons of money if you are interested in looking her up. I've seen her almost always go for under the price that she came out for. So if you really like her, I do suggest picking her up. But I don't really know if there's any like really diehard Meteoria fans. I have a feeling that most people didn't really like her that much. I was actually kind of surprised they ended up making her instead of like Alsteria. Al 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 I think I'm even saying Meteoria wrong. I don't think that's how you say her name. But maybe it's right. <laughs> but um, Alsteria. Al Alistar. Nope. Nope. I, I am surprised they didn't make the chick with the red and orange hair. That's what I'm trying to say. So I'm assuming she would be next though if they're going to make another one because now we got Meteoria, one of our main main chickies, and we got the main bad chickies. So theoretically, I'm really hoping they do a whole line, but you know what I realized when I found out this is a bat company? It's occurring to me that the two figures we have aren't made by the same company and they've both only made one. So I'm really hoping somebody else or one of those companies decides to pick up at least one of the other figures. I really, 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 really want Megane. She's my favorite, but I'm okay with in the future making that a project for myself and just creating a Megane. So I'm not too worried about that, but it would be like really awesome to have Megane. Just saying. But let's get to the last thing in the package that I'm not gonna unbox right now. I'm just going to show you all because it is my girl. I put on my list for my unpopular opinion video for figures that I was going to be collecting the Dream Tech line of Girls and Panzer figures by Wave. And that specifically Kay was one of my grails. But every time I saw her grow up, even on Ami Ami B condition, she was $300 and I was not willing to pay that. So I was keeping an eye out for her for under $300 was my goal. I ended up finding her for $150. The person who had posted this posted nearly all of them and I, you have no idea how tempting it was, but I have budget set. I cannot just buy them all at once. So I bought the most important one. <laughs> but they, um, they were selling I think all, well, nearly all, they didn't have like Darjeeling, but they had almost all of them up for 150 and it was funny because it's like some of them are worth way more than 150 and some of them are worth like 
nowhere near 150. Look at her! Her box is even really good. I was thinking maybe her box wasn't gonna be that great. Holy crap! Oh, dude, I am so excited to unbox her. I'm not gonna do it in this video, as I said, but. Oh, hell yeah! She's so good! Like, her condition! What the frig happened? I love it. That's why you wait. That's why you always wait. Good things come to those who wait. You'll find someone selling her for not not knowing what the price is, or someone who just wants to get rid of her. Oh man, I'm so excited. So yes, this is one of my grails um, that I've been keeping an eye out for ever since I learned that this line was a thing. And I do plan on getting a few more this year because I realized that um, some of them are actually not that bad. Like I think that Ma, no, not Ma, Miho. I don't think there is a Maho in this line now that I said that. But um, Miho actually goes for like, I wanna say it's between 30 and 50 bucks you can find her used. So I was like, oh, this line's not as expensive as I thought. I was just looking at the most expensive ones. And Kay is the most expensive one. So that makes me feel a lot better now that I got her. And I got her for such a good price. So. <laughs> Yeah, very excited. I'm super happy about this. Oh my god. Alright, so I'm gonna open her up in another video, but that is it for this video. My thoughts on Zen Market, I do think that they're better than Bayi, personal opinion. I know. Shoot me. For the record, I didn't just use Bayi once and have a bad experience. I used them plenty of times and didn't have any bad experience. I just, after looking through everything and realizing that other proxy services don't charge for things that Bayi does, I decided to go with Zen Market this time and see what they're like. If you have a different favorite proxy service, go ahead and comment below. I would love to go ahead and just try a bunch of them out and then give you like a full on review of what I actually think is best, but I'm not gonna just try ones willy nilly. If Zen Market's working for me, I'm gonna keep going with them for now. If you have a favorite that I, you know, is not Bai or Zen Market, go ahead and let me know. I'd love to go ahead and check them out. Also, if you liked this video, please go ahead and subscribe because you made it this far. I assume you must somewhat like me or my content if you made it this far. If you want to go ahead and see more, I am a figure collector who collects anything she feels like. But I am currently collecting mostly Girls and Panzer stuff. So if you like Girls and Panzer and you want to see more Girls and Panzer unboxings and figures, go ahead and definitely subscribe because I'm going to have a lot more of those to come in the future. I plan on collecting this whole line. I'm collecting most of the Girls and Panzer lines right now so that's really what I'm focusing on and obviously if you don't like girls in Panzer but you like other things as you saw with my lovely Meteoria who's over here on the desk that's why I keep looking over there <laughs> I collect other things too so anyways I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you all next time bye